Hello, Eric Giboy, EricGiboy.com, and today I'm going to answer a question that many people uh, ask me is, when can we say uh, that we are a photographer? Let's start. First of all, uh, I'm going to tell you a small story about uh, when I was younger. Uh, in summer, uh, I was a sell, uh, sales boat uh, instructor. So uh, when people came uh, to spend a week with us uh, learning uh, how to sail a small boat, we always ask uh, who has experience and who knows how to navigate. And some people said, I don't, I do, uh, whatever. Okay, so we make two small groups. One of the people who, who said they knew how to navigate and one of people who said they didn't know. So for people who knew, we put a boy, a small uh, floating uh, plastic stuff and away, you know, in the, in the sea, at sea, against the wind. And we said, uh, okay, you have to go up to there, to the boy, and then uh, come back to, uh, to the shore. So it was easy, you had to go uh, making zigzag like this, turn the boy, and then come back. And some people did that, and so they went against the wind, zigzag and then come back and others they don't know how to do it so uh, they start to uh, go uh, to drift uh, sideways and then they end up on the beach back to the beach and uh, they came back walking uh, along the beach with uh, pulling the pulling the boat behind them and this is where you realized uh, the big difference between uh, sailing and following a boat and that's really different uh, the first group didn't know how to sail and the first, uh, the second group just didn't know and was just following the boat. So many people actually do that with the camera. They don't actually make the picture. The camera makes the picture and uh, they say they're photographers, but they don't actually decide on how to make the picture. Well, obviously they frame and little more, but they, they don't, they really follow the, the camera. So when do I think people could call themselves photographer? Well, really, I think a real photographer is a person that is able to obtain the result is been thinking about or someone has uh, asked for. Uh, let's say someone tells you, can you make that picture of this product or that portrait, whatever? I'd like it this way, this way, this way, this way. And you are able to exactly nail it and get the results. Or in your mind, you think, I would like to do that picture and then you're able to do it. And it can be any kind of picture, street photography or portrait or product or wedding or whatever. And what you've been thinking about, you're able to get it. And this is when you start or really start to be a photographer. Actually, I see some people, uh, they make a picture and then they're surprised by the results. Why? Because they're not, uh, they're actually they're not actors, they are spectators. If you look at your camera uh, screen and you're surprised, it means you did not know how to do it and you're surprised by the results. One thing is that you, if you know how to do things, you may be happy about the results. You look at the results and say, oh great, I got exactly what I wanted. I'm good. Oh great, I nailed it. Yes, that's right. But you're not surprised because you did expect that result. You would be really disappointed if you did not get it because you really thought you were able to get it. And this is when really you can consider yourself a photographer. And the steps uh, to get to obtain this is are the following. People normally do it the other way around. So the first thing is to think, analyze about the results you want to get. Uh, whether it's in your mind because you've been thinking about what you wanted or you have a sample photography of people as I would like to have this or something you've looked, uh, something you've searched or you found or something you made before, whatever. And uh, not necessarily to copy just because you, you like the way it is or whatever, okay? And you must analyze this result you want to obtain. And then once you've analyzed all this, you can define what techniques you need, what gear you need. And once you have defined all this, then the last step is to use them, use the gear, use the technique to obtain the result you wanted. And then if you obtain this result, then yes, for that picture, you were a photographer. For that picture, you were a photographer because you were able to obtain exactly what you wanted. Then you can try to go for mastering. Mastering is when you are able to create new techniques or alternative te techniques 
or uh, use alternative gear to what you actually need it or define you need it. Why? Because uh, right now you cannot use that technique for X reason or you, cannot, you don't have the gear for that, but you think about alternative way to obtain the result. And this is, this is going for master. This is uh, being really good. And also a real photographer is someone uh, who knows how to build his way for the first time. Uh, let's say uh, someone asks you for such kind of photography or you want to do it yourself and you're able to build your way because of the experience you have even if it's the first time you do it you're able to do it and uh, this is when you really master photography for example if someone asks me uh, can you do submarine uh, photography I would say, well, I've never done it. I don't know how light actually travels underwater. I don't know many information. I can try, but really for that part, I will be a photographer in practice, not really a master photographer or a real photographer. I will be practicing. Obviously, sometimes you don't tell the client because you don't want him to, to forget about you. But uh, you need to be honest for you, with yourself. If you feel you're not able to do it and uh, this is... Uh, a paid job maybe is better and not to do it uh, than to ruin the result anyway and last point which is really important a real photographer is someone who is able to repeat time after time and get the result he wants uh, it's not uh, just uh, random results it's a uh, well I got it right this time but next time I won't get it right I don't know maybe uh, maybe not uh, a wedding photographer can go to a thousand of uh, or hundreds of weddings and always get his style is uh, the lighting he wants and the style he wants and repeat product photographer if the client says uh, no I cannot go to the studio today can you come and make the pictures here you're able to get your gear there or this and make the picture there and that's it you're able a portrait and you're able to repeat and repeat and repeat because you actually dominate the techniques you know your gear you know what you want to do you know how to do it and this is really when you uh, become a real uh, photographer. Until then, you're a camera owner or a photographer in practice. Obviously, we present ourselves as photographer because uh, it's easier. You can say, I am an amateur photographer, which is no shame about that. But the amateur photographer that dominates everything. So it's more difference between amateur and professional uh, regarding charging people. But really a photographer deep inside yourself even if you call yourself a photographer don't forget this you will be a real photographer when you dominate several techniques a uh, musician uh, can play many kind of uh, music uh, a cook can a uh, chef uh, can make um, a lot of style of food even if it's not the food he prefers he is able to do it and a real photographer uh, must dominate a lot of techniques many things uh, different things and this is really important. Actually, there are uh, some photographers that actually indicate their specialty, like uh, portrait, portrait photographer, landscape photographer, or product photographer, or wedding photographer. It's a way of telling, uh, this is my specialty. Uh, this is what I like to do and what I do best. Doesn't mean they maybe don't know it doesn't mean they don't know how to do other things maybe they don't but maybe they do but at least they're very honest and uh, they tell uh, up front uh, what they specialize in it's hard to say i'm a photographer J just sit and uh, really dominate because we all are in practice uh, all our life uh, that's true and actually i put photographer i don't special it's not indicate any speciality but uh, I, I think these people are really honest when they say that one of the first thing it needs to dominate is light. So I'll leave you a small uh, link of a video I made about uh, light being the ink of your photography. Well, that's it. We all are photographer in practice until we die. But the more we know, the more we can call ourselves photographer. But it does take quite a lot of time. I hope you like this video. Uh, I invite you to share it on social network if you feel it may interest other people. If you have not done yet, my, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here and a small, also a small bell. If you click on it, you'll get uh, notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment or send me an email to info at ericgibo.com. And below, I also put links of my gear on Amazon and also links to other parts of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.